Hi, I'm Jenny from One Girl and Her Machines and um, I am here today with my first ever Friday Sews. Um, it's quite a new thing to me, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to put in it, but I thought I'd just have a little bit of a, of a little waffle, little, you know, little chat with you to tell you what I've been doing this week. Um, the first thing I need to show you or tell you is what I'm wearing today. So um, I'll insert a little video to the side. Um, this is a self-drafted jumpsuit. Um, I really like playing around with pattern drafting and I've done a few courses and stuff like that. And I wanted to make a jumpsuit that fit me being five foot one they don't always fit me in the best way and I thought oh let's have a play let's see if you can make one fit you and I am absolutely chuffed to bits with this one it fits me to a T um, the only thing I would change for another one and I probably will make another one is um, I would probably make the sleeves elasticated because they you know if I'm trying to move around they're they're lovely they look great but they're they're tight so when you're trying to move around and you're trying to lift up things and whatever they're a little bit tight but other than that it's I just love it I'm really really pleased with it really chuffed and uh, yeah very proud so um, the fabric is um, from the boutique haberdashery down in Fairham um, but it's available everywhere. I mean, I watched a video the other day. Um, I think it was Yorkshire Show Girls and she put her video on from First of Fabrics and they had it in there. It was all over the shops last year. And I kept wanting it, kept wanting it. And again, it was another one that I bought with my birthday money. I treated myself and bought with my birthday money. So yeah, I love this jumpsuit. I'm very proud of it. And it will be, it's actually, I mean, I'm wearing it in the summer holidays. It's comfortable enough for me to wear now. Um, but it will definitely work for school when I get there. So, uh, yeah, really pleased. So what have I been doing this week? So I've been doing a couple of things. The first thing I've been doing is I have been working on my capsule wardrobe. Um, I have made a toile of the, um, the vest top because I thought I haven't tried that in a few years. My body's changed a bit, as they all do, and I need to tweak it a little bit. It's not that bad. It's wearable um but it just needs to i need to just take it in um at the arms arm side a little bit but that's fine that's good so i will do that for the the next two um i've also made my sheared top uh, my cherry sheared top um i haven't yet made the shorts but i think that'll be this weekend's project um from the so Haley jane fabric um and the fabric is I didn't realise it until I started sewing with it. It's actually so beautifully soft. It really is lovely. Um, and I'm, in fact, my sister came over yesterday. She saw the top and she's like, do you mind if I, I, I could knit that? I'm like, not a chance. I haven't even worn it. Um, I, as it was, I gave her a whole load of clothes and um, I lent her a, a jumpsuit. Again, one of the ones I really love, one of the ones that I recently made. And I said, I want that one back. And uh, she's like, oh, well, I quite like this. Mm. So I might have to make one for for like Prezi or whatever. Um, but yeah, she uh, she came and and sort of she was trying on my top and she's like, oh, I quite like that, quite like that. It's like no, go away, leave it alone. It is mine. I haven't worn it. You can have it after I finish with it. So um, so yeah, so really pleased with that. My first shearing, not too bad. A few like technical issues as I was making it, but not not bad enough to stop me doing it. Um, and then I just need to make the shorts to go with it. But they do go, it does go with my shorts. I've got my red shorts. Um, I put it on with some white shorts the other day to try it on and take a picture for Instagram. So I am on Instagram if you'd like to um, follow me on there. Um, it should be just at uh, One Girl Her Machines. And I will link that below. Um, and yeah, I put it on Instagram the other day. Um, and then I, um, and I've also been making more underpants. So my husband thinks I am completely bonkers, but as I discovered, when, and you might, may have seen this if you watch the videos, but as I discovered, the fabric on my son's t-shirts wasn't necessarily big enough for my backside. So I thought, oh, what can I do? Oh, I can, you know, redraft the pattern a little bit and make something fun. So I will insert a picture of the next pair of, of underwear that I made um again i sent them on whatsapp to my sister and she thought they were my sons um i sent them to my mum and she said 
oh different um but I'm the only one, well, myself and my husband are the only ones that are going to see them. And as long as I find them fun and as long as I like them, who cares? Um, so yes, they entertained me. Let's just put it like that. They entertained me. They made me chuckle when I made them. And that's all that I care. And every time I put them on, I am quite sure they will make me chuckle again. So um, yeah, so there I will put in the picture of these underpants for you to see. Um, and they they are just just a little bit of entertainment. So they've also been fun this week to do. And then the other thing I've been doing is... I have been playing around with um, drafting blocks, bodice blocks and stuff like that. I quite like, I'm a bit of a geek. If I'm really, I mean, you may have seen like from the introduction, you know, it's very Star Warsy. I'm a bit of a geek. I quite like these sort of things. And um, I like playing around on computers. Excel is one of my favourite things. I'm weird. I agree. I understand this. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I've been playing around and I've been drafting bodice blocks on the computer to so have a play. So um, that's been quite fun. I might see where that goes. Keep keep playing around and um, see if I can draft some. I don't know. Maybe I'll see if I can draft a pattern or something. We'll see. We'll keep playing. Depends on how much time I have. I like to take on a bit too much, so we'll, we'll see about that. Um, but, yes, yeah, so I've been playing around drafting it on the computer so I've been sat there in the evenings while we've been watching the tv and and playing around I don't know about you but I am not one that will just sit there and just watch the tv we will always have something else that I'm, I'm always have something else that I'm doing there's nothing the thing that we watch the most actually is YouTube to be honest the thing we watch the most is YouTube and I you know anything else that my husband wants to watch I'll sit there and I'll take it in, you know, one ear and out the other type thing. Um, but I don't necessarily watch it with complete and utter wholehearted attention. So I let him get on with it. He wants to watch TV, fine. And I'll sit there and I'll fiddle fart around with the um, with the computer and, and play on drawing things on the computer. So I'm enjoying that quite a lot. I'm really enjoying, I'm using Adobe Illustrator and really enjoying that. And um, yeah. We will see where that goes. So I've had quite a, a productive week. Um, might not have done quite so much housework as I wanted to do. I may have been a bit distracted by the sewing, but hey, it's good. My sojo is back. So, I mean, it, I can't say it went disappeared massively, but it's really there right now. So I, all I want to do is get in my sewing room. But unfortunately, my sewing room looks like a bomb has dropped. There are piles of fabric everywhere. There's, I've got like all my swimming costumes that I don't wear anymore out because I think I might like try and cut them up and make a swimming costume for myself before I go. And I've got, I've just got so much stuff that I need to sort out. I need to get some shelving behind me. The whole room needs decorating. Um, and it needs to wait for me to actually have the time, the money, and yeah, the inclination to stop sewing long enough to actually do it so we'll see um but yeah that is that's something else but my room looks like an absolute bomb has dropped so I need to try and tidy that up um and get in there so hence I am filming this in my living room today um and I do have a little visitor down here if you can see me moving around a little bit it's because I have a little visitor the dog has decided to come and say hello to me so if you can hear her in the background I do apologize um but yeah so that is my friday so that's what i've been doing i've been watching lots of new um vlogs from people um where you know i've had people subscribing so i've been trying to sort of look at theirs and see if they've got something which is lovely um discovered the seaside service the other day um and then is it? There was, oh, I was watching Rebecca Stitches, I think it was this morning. So, uh, you know, trying to show them support as well, because they've been supporting me, which is lovely. Um, and then trying to catch up on all the other ones while I'm sewing as well. Watch Adam Sews. I don't think I'd really seen him before either. So, yeah, there's been a, quite a few different vlogs that I've been watching this week while I've been sewing. Um, oh, I've had a lovely week, a lovely restful week sewing and not doing a lot of things that I should be doing, you know. But hey, why not? I'm on the summer holidays and I've worked really hard this year. That's all I can say. Um, however, I need to love you and leave you. Um, I can't thank you enough for subscribing and liking my videos. It's it's pure entertainment for me and my son every single day just to check the stats and, you know, just to see what's going on because it's sort of you don't expect anything to happen. You don't expect anyone to actually like your videos. So when it does, it's a really, really nice feeling. 
um so yeah thank you ever so much for doing it it really has been we, we've had a really fun sort of week and a half or whatever looking at these things and whatever and and i'm really enjoying doing the vlogging so i hope you like them too and um i will be back next week before i go on holiday at some point and um, i will try and record another one to put out while i'm on holiday and then i will be um back after that in full force i would hope so yeah thank you for watching and if you like the video please subscribe and if you'd like to be notified please ding the bell thank you bye